guys, today I want to show something on the diesel particulate filters, the DPFs, the problems that may arise if you have not done a DPF delete and you are a short distance driver or you are a town driver. So let's get into it real quick. So we have got two types of diesel particulate filters, Kuna Ainabili and DPF. So we have the wall flow type of diesel particulate filter and the partial flow type of diesel particulate filters. So behind us we have a CX-5. 2017 model it's a kf2p series 2.2 diesel so what i'm going to show you are the two the, those two types of the dpfs this one this specific model it uses the wall flow diesel particulate filter this is in guinea partial flow diesel particulate filters zinakuanga retrofit now he wall flow zinakuanga oem oem ni original equipment manufacturer alafu retrofit ni kama modification putting new technologies on older systems kama tuseme uko na gari ya kitambo ala then unataka kuifanya ikuwe more efficient si chafue mazingira sana you retrofit it with the partial flow type of diesel particulate filter the partial flow type of diesel particulate filters they are continuous filtering the, the exhaust gases continuous they don't evolve the EDE EDE ni electronic diesel control EDC the electronic diesel control. Zile has the kutumia EDC. Ile EDC, they will control the amount of fuel and quantity injected in the, in the, in the combustion chamber. So, the retrofit ones, zina, zina filter continuously. They filter 30% to up to 70%. So, exhaust gases can be inside. By the time it's okay, ile side in they are 70% or 30% filter. Zile ziko hivyo, azihitaji kutumia electronic diesel control kuja kufilter zile particulate matter but hii ingine, the wall flow type of diesel particulate filter yo dita major na, yo dita major na example ni kama hizi hizi ni za mazida demi, 1.5 cc diesel wall flow types of diesel particulate filters they engage the EDC EDC is the electronic diesel control they engage the EDC so time ya regeneration EDC ina inche, ina ongezea mafuta yenye inaijectiwa kwa chamber hiyo exhaust gas temperature inapanda inachoma hiyo catalytic hiyo particulate matter so the the wall flow type of diesel particulate filter iko na several sensors zenye zina zina enable regeneration there is a block we have several types of sensors na ndio na, na, naenda kuonyesha saa hii saa hii but ile wall flow venye ni mwasho iko imetengenezwa ina filter continuously because imekotiwa na catalyst zenye zina filter the particulate matter continuously so hii ingine ni EDC so this specific type you see these specific types eh? this specific type iko na iko na instead of using catalyst like the other type of diesel particulate filter the partial flow hii natumia porous silicon carbide ile material yenye iko hapa ndani inaitangwa porous silicon carbide dio dio exhaust gases the pre clean pre clean the exhaust gases eh? the pre, pre cleaned exhaust gas ikiingilia hapa by the time it okay inside ingine inakuwa iko clean this is the down pipe ikiingilia hapa by the time it okay hapa inakuwa iko clean so mazda demo iko na mbili so i will use this one to show you the sensors zenye zinafanya ujue kama dpf imefunga because we have got like several stages then your dpf kill me funga we have the differential exhaust pressure sensor you day na juanga wakati dpf me funga because it measures the back pressure on one side we have the differential the differential pressure and then the other side we have the exhaust fluid exhaust gas fluid so when your graph in a panda panda evo you know you see we na jua ha ikiwa kwa parameter fulani nini dpf me blow ikiwa kwa parameter fulani DPF inaitaji regeneration Nikiwa kwa ma maali flani DPF inaitaji kusafisho So depending on that graph One side we have the differential pressure The other side we have the exhaust, exhaust gas fluid So I will sh show you the sensors right away So these are, This is the differential exhaust pressure sensor Zina kujanga hapa ju Naenda kwa differential exhaust pressure sensor this one, these two, these two pipes right here, and then we have the EGT. EGT is this, the exhaust gas temperature sensor, and then, and then we have the differential exhaust pressure sensor at the EGT. The differential exhaust pressure sensors, they, they are kuna moja mbele na kuna ingine nyuma because of comparing the data. So, let me, let me make a capita kamefunga. 
utapata umeanza ku encounter high fuel consumption adgari na lose power ina lose power kwa nini this porous silicon carbide inakuanga imesiliwa kuna design inakuanga imesiliwa ndio zile exhaust gas exhaust gas eh? ikipitia hapo particulate matter inabaki hapo inabaki hapo alafu after the particulate matter imebaki hapo the oxygen in the exhaust gas ina oxidize ile particulate matter at the disband of unit time ya regeneration we have two types of regeneration we have passive and active so yenye ina uh, ina oka ile time ime regenerate wewe hauko aware inaitangwa active regeneration so ile particulate matter ziu baki hapa hivi kwa this porous silicon carbide i have already perforated this specific filter ya ile fulani i have already perforated so ukiangalia utaona utaona shimo hapo hivi ndani because i've already perforated i've not sijatoa filter yote nikitoa filter yote igari itabaki ikitoa moshi so what i've done nimenyima tu chance ya kuaccumulate isienda ikaaccumulate alafu exhaust gas temperature and then the exhaust gas is ifungiwe gari ikose nguvu alafu ianze high fuel consumption because of this diesel particulate filter so for it to, to regenerate for this specific filter to regenerate eh, we have we got we need two things high temperature or you lower the particulate matter burnout temperature dio hii dio hii regenerate first you either increase the exhaust gas temperature dio hii come the oxidize the particulate matter dio hii kwe burnt off or you reduce the temperature that may be required to burn off the particulate matter hizo vitu mbili so yenye ina happening at full load when the engine is at full load eh, he particulate matter due to high temperature yenye iko kwa exhaust gas ina regenerate automatically high load when the engine is at full load ni over 600 degrees celsius when the engine is at full load ni at over 600 degrees celsius dio ina kama inachoma hii particulate matter particulate matter ni ash inatokea kwa exhaust when the engine is at part load partial load ni kama 200 degrees celsius 3 so hiyo ni partial load haiwezi regenerate ndio maana wasewa diesel wanaambia ngo kupata chance ya kukimbiza gari weki biza gari ndio regenerate so hiyo ni option ya kwanza na unaweza fanya hivyo through aje ndio ndio exhaust gas temperature ikoe mingi you either kimbiza gari ama you increase the torque request kwa hiyo okay, you increase the torque request ni kama you turn on vitu kama AC na turn on vitu kama AC ndio AC kionge ukitano ni AC unaongezea engine load so injectors ita inject more fuel in the compression in the combustion chamber ndio ile exhaust gas ikoe moto those are that is step number one. step number two venye unaweza fanya ni you you use additives eh? you use additives kama kama iron compounds using a metering unit kwa tank ya mafuta hiyo additive itakuja it reduce the temperature that might be required to burn out the particulate matter in a, ni kama kikatalyst plant ina reduce temperature in inafa it burn out the particulate matter ina reduce temperature to around 420 or 500 sia tena reduce sana hata si efficient sana hiyo design so ina reduce to in temperature ile iko hapa ndio ina burn out haraka so those are two things that you can do to reduce the so that to activate your regeneration process so after umefanya dcf delete kuna vitu unafanya kwa hizo you do the remapping the reason you are doing the remapping after umetoboa hapa that means una interfere na various na waambia zile parameters zenye zimesetiwa kwa compound pale kwa graph za back pressure ukiinterfere na zile parameters unaenda unafanya dpf gr delete ndio isikuje ikasoma sasa era you are for it hii kitu itaifungana step ya kwanza ni ati haitaifungana so you don't need all those sensors za kukwambia might need a dpf gboot dpf malfunction hizo vitu zote zinahitaji so that is it on diesel particular filter if you are a short distance driver or town driver that is why you are required to do a dpf delete and then you 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 do a software software update kwa ICU so that you can eliminate this exhaust this uh, differential exhaust pressure sensors ndio isikuje ikakuranga na maera maijiji so that is it on this dpf delete so dpf hapa ikifungana you face lack of power and high fuel consumption just those two things and gari pia inaweza overheat because 
zile hot exhaust gases zikifungiwa zinarudi tena kwa hizo so over time gas getting over time gas getting so i will show you the whole process of the dpf delete on this 2017 master cx5 it's not like a, a bad thing to do a dpf delete so let's get it what